Good morning. Today, today is what? Today is the 6th, August 6th. We're going to start with the daily reflection on the Old Testament. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Psalm 139, 23 through 24. God knows where we are headed, both here and hereafter, because he knows what is in our heart and head in the present. This life is a time of probation and proving, of testing and trial. We are here to prove ourselves worthy of everlasting life. The enabling power of redeeming grace rescues our soul from the effects of the fall of Adam and our own fleshy susceptibilities. Through the bounteous mercy and love of Jesus Christ, we are raised in immortality. We are forgiven of sins. We are given strength to do good works. We are able to lay hold on eternal life and exaltation. We can be cleansed and healed by the grace and infinite atoning sacrifice of Jesus. His atonement in an intimate way. His atonement in an intimate way was for each of us. To access the power of his atonement, we must do as Paul exhorted, examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith, prove your own selves. Okay. Today is Job chapters 38 and 39. And I, I, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. So the Ludlow does thirty-two, and then is done with Job. Okay, and then the side by side goes to 42 and then is done with Job. So they're feeling like I'm feeling. Um, let's see. In 38, God asked Job where he was when the foundations of the earth were laid, when the morning stars sang together and when all the sons of God shouted for joy. The phenomena of nature show the greatness of God and the wickedness of man. And then in 39, man's weakness and ignorance are compared with God's mighty works. Does man even know how the laws of nature operate? Uh, Job wax is very poetic for me, you know, um, a lot of the time I'm like, what? What? I don't know. It's been a tough week, that's for sure. I've got nothing to, to share with you, and I've not really taken anything away. Um, tomorrow is 40 and 42, and then we're done with Job. That, it's a hard one. It's a hard one to get through. Okay. And now I will leave you with a prayer from a diary of prayer, August 6th. Uh, this is Eve of the Transfiguration, Reverend William Reed Huntingdon. Not Huntington, Huntingdon. O God, who are on the mount, didst reveal to choosen. Let me start over. O God. Who art on the mount, didst reveal to chosen witnesses thine only begotten Son, wonderfully transfigured in raiment white and glistening. Mercifully grant that we, being delivered from the disquietude of this world, may be permitted to behold the King in his beauty, who with thee, O Father, and thee, O Holy Ghost, live and reigneth one God, 
world without end. Oh, and there's another one for the transfiguration. O oh, Lord and King, that oh, what awe fell upon your disciples when they beheld you in your glory upon the mount, their master had lived with them humbly as friend and brother, but when their eyes were open and the King of Kings shone upon them in the light of heaven, they were sore afraid. We too, Lord, know you as friend and comforter and shepherd of the sheep. Let us not forget the glory and power of our God and King. Teach us the same holy fear as overwhelmed your disciples. And teach us too, O Lord, the honor due to our fellow men, made in the image of our God. Let us never forget that if we could see them as they truly are, transfigured by your love for them, we should be smitten to the heart. Help us to see your image in each other, O Lord, and to worship and adore. And that one hits a little bit harder, mainly because... Not yesterday, but the day before. I was a little harsh on Megan. I was sick and tired of picking up after everybody. I was done. I was like, that's it. I'm done. Every time I come in here after having two days off, this place is trashed. I'm done being the only one who works. And I didn't yell at Megan, but I was like, you can look around. You can see with your own eyes that this needs done and that needs done. Don't ask Logan what needs to be done. You can figure it out. Anyways, I, I think I was a little too harsh on her. I think I made her cry. And then the next day, I yesterday, I, I prayed for a soft heart. I prayed for humbleness to apologize to her. I, you know, let me be, let me be, uh, let me see her as, you know, let's, what does it say? Um... Teach us, too, the honor due to our fellow men made in the image of our God. Let us never forget that if we could see them as they truly are, transfigured by your love for them, we should be smitten to the heart. Um, anyways, I did apologize to her. And um, we had a really good day yesterday. We talked a lot. We laughed. If I could see her, known that she was made in the image of the Lord, she was transfigured by his love for her. He loves her so much. If I could just see that, I would I would have never had any problems with her. And I definitely wouldn't make fun of her for wearing her shorts. Horrible person right here. All right. That was Job 38 and 39, and we'll see you for 40 and 42.